Hello everyone, my name is Mr. M. Today we're going to learn how to identify quadratic functions given a table of values. Let's go straight to the intro activity to find the differences of two adjacent values or consecutive values on each row. So we have two rows here, the row for the x values and row for the y values. The first one is done for you. So what do we need to do? So this is a strategy. When you're given a table of values and you want to find the differences, you start from right to left. So in this case, I'm going to subtract. So when you say differences, you subtract 3 minus 2. And that is 1. Got it? How about this? How did I get, how did I get 4? 17 minus 13 equals 4. So how do you... Get the next value here and here and here. So make sure you pause your video while you're doing it. Come back once you're done so that you can check your answers. Okay, let's check your answers. So again, how did I get this one? It says 3 minus 2 is 1. 2 minus 1 is 1. 1 minus 0 is 1. 0 minus negative 1 is 1 also. 1, negative 1 minus negative 2 is 1, and this is 1. Now, notice that all the numbers here are the same. How about here? So 17, take away 13, that's 4. 13, take away 9, that's 4. This is 4, that's 4, that's 4. Let's go to the keyword. What is meant by first differences? So if you get the, the differences of each row, these values, 1, 1, 1, 1, is the, or the differences, the first differences of the x values. And this 4 here are, are called the first differences of the y values, or in y. Okay? Now, let's go to the key concept. In the table of value that represents a quadratic function, the second differences in y are equal. So, we need to find the second differences in y. Alright? Now, going back here, it's already equal on the first differences. Now, the question is, is this a quadratic, does this represent a quadratic function? No, it's not. Because again, going back to this question, this key concept it says the second differences must be, it must be the second differences in Y that are equal, not the first, not the third. It's the second. Okay? Let's go to the mild problem. Now take a look. I already did the first differences in X. So it's a requirement, you have to do it first, all right? The first differences in X should be the same before you move forward. So first differences in Y, let's take a look, 16 minus 9, that's 7, 9 minus 4, that's 5, and etc. So that's the first differences in Y. How do we know if this is a quadratic function? We need to find the Second difference is in y. Let's do it together. So 7 minus 5, that's 2, right? 5 minus 3, that's 2 also, all right? 3 minus 1, 2, 1 minus negative 1, that's 2, negative 1 minus negative 3, that's 2. So the second differences are equal. So what can we conclude from this? This table represents a quadratic function. Now it's your turn. So determine whether the table of values below represents a quadratic function or not. I want you to justify, meaning show your work, and then explain your answer. Clear? So make sure you pause your video while you're doing it. Come back once you're done so that you can check your answer. Alright, welcome back. Let's check your answer. Go ahead and check your answer. All right. See, we need to find the first differences in X first, 
and they are equal. Second differences are not equal, so therefore it's not linear function. But the second differences are equal, so therefore it's a quadratic function. This table represents a quadratic function. Thank you for watching and learning with me. Be sure to click the links below in the description box for additional resources. And do not forget to subscribe and share this video. Please take care of yourself and each other.